incline. I can, whenever I want, I can go, I can go high or I can go middle. I mean, try to predict if I'm going high, middle, or low, okay? Just tell them, try to predict what kick I'm gonna do. See what I mean? Without moving this foot. Foot's still there. Foot's still there. Front kicks, roundhouse, axe kick, bata! See what I mean? It's hard. kick it, it comes from this position here usually they step out like that and they will kick here with the shin now why here because here you're also at a distance of getting punched that said taekwondo kicks are with the foot so you're actually at a distance where it's harder to get punched but if you're twisting your whole body into it if the good person rushes forward rush forward you might still get hit now that said it's also because you're turning all of your shoulders and your hips and your leg into the kick so basically just don't watch her don't watch my legs, just look at my head. Look how pivoting the leg where it takes my head. It's just natural that my head's gonna be here. So if she now goes forward a little bit with like a step with the left leg, do a step with the left leg, she got me. If she got me with this one, the second one is that much easier to get in, okay? Now that said, this is the reason why I like this kick. First of all, I don't telegraph, not even stepping that way or nothing. I'm just here maybe jabbing or whatever. I'll do the kick basically. You guys see this line? The kick has to come above this line without moving this foot. I'm gonna hold myself here, okay? Kick landed. Now look at the difference. If I'm here with my shoulders back in this direction, jab. There's not much she can do. I mean, come closer. Even if she steps forward, step forward, step forward, and does it with the other hand, go. I still, she's still not at the distance to hit my face unless she actually steps forward more. And from here, I can always choose to back up this much more. Go ahead. And basically, I'm out of distance to be hit. But as soon as I bring my knee and my hips all the way this way, my head naturally will be closer to her, therefore being easier and it being easier to get countered. So um, this is the reason why I've used this kick a lot and I'll be, you know, even with low kicks. Like some instructors here in Holland will tell you to not kick this way, but that's, you know, if you can move your hips this way, like I just showed you guys, just imagine. Just from standing here, I can twist my whole body that way without exposing my head too much. Like, look, punch me. Now, if I put my head, my leg into it and go that way, go. This is how you get hit. This is why in kickboxing in Holland, you will see a lot of combos when people are getting hit and kicked, hit and kicked. It's because they're always at the distance where they can get hit and kicked. All you gotta do is break those rules a little bit if you're physically able to, and you're gonna give people a very hard time in sparring. You know, I mean, she's seen me spar so many people here in Holland and she'll tell you herself how many people I put down. They, people can't hit me, basically. It's very hard for people to hit me, right? I mean, tell them. I mean, so it's a, this is one of the tricks I've used. If you guys haven't seen the other videos, like uh, uh, how I use Bruce Lee's one in punch, watch those, you know, it also applies to Dutch kickboxing. But uh, yeah, basically I'll do it on the other side for you guys right now. I did it on this side, now I'll do it on the other side. <laughs> so basically I'm here, I kick here, Look at my look at my shoulders. Just just jab jab. Ah, try to hit me with left grab, but, but, but go back where you started, okay? Ah, 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 ah. Go with the right too. Ah, so you see what I mean? Now if I go if I go through it, go. It's that much harder. Now the side of my head is facing her. I gotta keep my head straight. I'm invulnerable now. But as long as I'm here, ah, ah, and I can whenever I want, I can go. I can go high or I can go middle. I mean, try to predict if I'm going high, middle, or low, okay? Just tell them, try to predict what kick I'm gonna do. See what I mean? It's hard, okay? It's very hard. And if you're then also switching legs and doing the same thing with left, 
you guys get the point, you know? At some point, if you're also using front kicks, they're not gonna be able to tell the difference between your roundhouse kicks and your front kicks, making it that much easier to defend themselves. At some point, they just end up backing up most of the fight and me just chasing them with kicks. It's funny, in the beginning of the fight, usually they're chasing me, I'm moving, I'm dodging, I'm countering, I'm moving back. So in the middle of the fight, usually I already caught him either with a jab or a low kick or some kind of kick to the body. By the end of the fight, if they're not knocked out yet, they're usually going back. They, 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 I, I leave them not knowing what to do, basically. So, um, but uh, these are, I'm gonna keep making more of these videos. There's so many little things and tricks I use to do able to do this. But I'll be sharing more and more of this with you guys as, uh, you know, as I keep making these videos, all right? So the next video, okay. catch you later. Bata! Okay, this next video I'll be doing from fighting stance, I'll be doing jab. Then a combination of front kick, right kick, axe kicks, different different kind of kicks, front push kicks, all without moving or pivoting the front foot. Here we go, guys. This is how you catch people off guard. Here we go. Front kick. High front kick. Axe kick. Out to end. Axe kick. Into out. Axe kick. Straight, you snap. Roundhouse kick high. Roundhouse kick middle. Roundhouse kick low. Run up people all the way around. That's how you knock people out. That's how you keep from telegraphing. Not moving the front foot. Twisting your entire body into it without moving this foot. Foot still there. Foot still there. Front kicks. Run house. Axe kick. Bata!